And this is the goal for this project. And here include liquid crystal I do see dot H because this is why we use uh, because of we are using a I two C L C D display uh, which is two two times sixteen. So two row and sixteen watts. So to be able to use this liquid crystal I two C library file you have to add the zip file so go to the sketch and include library and add the zip file I will provide uh, the link in description so you can download go to download so this is the liquid crystal I2C zip file so here is the zip file then add so you will see here a library name liquid crystal I do see is already exist because I already as uh, add one times before so this is already existing I just show you how to do this and the second things you have to go to the sketch here and you have to add manage the library file So liquid crystal I to see here and you search you scroll down and this file you have to install. So I already installed here. You have to install this one. Okay, if your I2C is not matched with this one, then you can still install other things. Okay, this one also you can just install. Okay, after you install, you will see here the library is already installed. Then you close. So now this time, this address, I2C address, is every I2C LCD is the address different. So to be able to use your I2C LCD address before you upload this code uh, you need to upload the other code I will give the link in description sketchbook okay so this I2C scanner code now this scanner code you upload to your Arduino board first Select your Arduino board. We are using Arduino Uno. Just open and select the board. Free and you upload. Okay, now done upload. After you done upload, you will see here serial monitor. You open serial monitor, and you will see your I2C address. So here I2C device file address 0.27. This is the what you are using your I2C LCD display. So this one you just copy it out. Sorry, you just copy it out this number, and then now you close. You close and here you paste so this is what you get your I2C number every I2C LCD they have a different address bar so you must not mistake you have to scan it and now this time if your LCD backlight is not work you can change LC sorry LCD dot begin if your LCD is not work LCD dot init you can use this LCD dot begin and here you must not mistake and all this 
bin two output is because of this bin two we use the relay relay pin uh, relay pin is digital pin number two and as output and here is height and all this one you just a follow up and you don't have to edit anything here and this is the uh, a0 a0 is because the, the sensor is we connect to a0 analog uh, analog pin 0 and this is the moist moisture value so all this is you don't have to edit you just copy uh, you just follow this code and now you check all especially i do see address and lcd dot uh, begins so this is very important and now this time you're going to upload to your board your arduino board you select arduino arduino uno and now this time you select to com3 and now you can upload to your board Okay, now done upload. So this is what you are going to see after you upload the code and on your LCD. If your LCD is not display anything, you have to check it back your wire connection. And here I don't have the soil here, so I just use a cup of water or uh, when the sensor is touched to the water then the relay is turned off and when the sensor is removed from the water then the relay is on so this is how it's going to on off from dependence on your moisture so you can just test from the soil and you can test with the water so the concept is going to be the same and here I have a water pump, DC water pump. I'm going to use NIVO battery with a water pump. So negative wire from the from the battery and negative wire from the water pump is connected together, joined together. And a positive from the battery is going to relay normally as so relay common pin. And the positive wire of the water pump uh, connect to normally open of the relay so the connection is done so now all the wire connection is everything is okay everything is correct then you can connect your uh, battery to your battery snap So when the sensor is removed from the water and the relay is on, which means the water pump is already on. So the water will go, water will flow. When the sensor is a web, then the relay will turn off. So this is how it works. So I hope uh, you clear this project. And thank you for watching. Please uh, like and share this video. Thank you for watching.